So this is one of my favorite places right here. And this is my number one reason, and it's called the uh, Coast Trail. And I'm going to take you on a little walk. It doesn't really take that long, but it's really pretty, so check it out. This is the, uh, the actual wall of it right here. And this trail walks along the uh, coastline. And uh, currently, I'm actually heading north on it. Got some kayakers out. It's very easy, very well marked. And very popular. So this is where it kind of like uh, heads in this uh, northerly direction. Look at these houses up here. They gotta be worth millions. But look at the view. And I'm gonna go over this uh, ledge area which has one of the uh, best views of this entire trail. Look at the surf action. Astounds here coming up to this uh, little bridge. Check it out. There's the view. Goes up around in here, comes around, and we're going to go over to that ledge right So up. check this nice path out. I mean, isn't this awesomeness? Look at that surf. Now you're gonna be really like the uh, the landscape in view of this coming attraction. So check this view out on the uh, coast trail. Look at this beautiful day out. That is uh, La Jolla Shores in the uh, distance, which is right there. Now this is kind of the ending point of this uh, coast trail, although it does kind of continue on further north, but I thought I'd stop here because this is actually the prettiest area, at least from this point. And this is one of the number one reasons why you should visit La Jolla, California is this reason. Look at the view. So, being the number one reason why you should visit La Jolla, the Coast Trail. Now, let's go out and check out number two. So, let's go. Stop. I'm going to check out this place called Sunny Jim's Cave. And uh, this is a tunnel that was uh, established in right around 1902. And apparently, it was used for bootlegging so let's go check this out and it's also a historical landmark go inside so this is the actual start of going to Jim's sea cave check it out and go sunny Jim steep steps And it cost me, see how steep it is. Especially for that guy. Uh-oh. No. Hello. Now apparently, like I said, this may have been used for bootlegging. I'm not really sure. But uh, I would probably say it was because it, it is like a kind of a secret cave. But this is neat. And you got to get here 
certain times because obviously weekends it's really packed. And continuing down. So this is the uh, opening okay. of this cave. So this is the actual entrance to the cave. to leave Sunny Jim's cave and uh, go check out number three and I think you're gonna like number three really it is really neat and I have to say I like caves there's something mystique about them so that's why I call this number two because one you gotta hike the coast trail to get here kinda and you go up these stairways how cool was that for my number two stop for visiting Sunny Jim's Cave? This is the last look at the store. And there is the sign. Wow, I came here just in time. A big tour bus just showed up. Now, number three, let's check out that next location. Before we hit number three, I want to show you Goldfish Point and actually show you where the cave entrance is. It actually is down there. And that is Goldfish Point. You see how beautiful that is. And we'll continue our walk and even eat a nice uh, cafe. So my number three spot here in La Jolla, California is the Cove, or known as La Jolla Cove. Check it out. This is right here on the northern end of it. We're going to go check it out further once we get closer, but this gives a good view from the outside. And one thing about this beach is it's good for swimming, snorkeling, diving, and they got a lot of sea lions to uh, look at. It's absolutely beautiful and pelicans, obviously. Uh, but this is a start, and uh, we'll go there and get a closer look. So, coming into number three, which is La Jolla Cove. Check this out. This is a, one of San Diego's most popular locations. And look at those sea lions, they look absolutely beautiful. He is getting beached. That's what I call rolling in the surf. Yeah. I love these guys. Looks like he's just gonna take a little nap on the beach. Isn't this a sight to be seen? Look at this guy. Absolutely cool seeing all those sea lions. Number three, visit La Jolla Cove.
So I'm actually headed to uh, number four, but I want to show you this really pretty coastline uh, that leads to it. So check this out. number four reason why you should visit La Jolla. Check it out. This is Shell Beach. Look at the beauty. Unbelievable. And this is all part of the coastline. Another good shot of Shell Beach. Just to the right of the stairway is this nice little cabana to go under and uh, enjoy the view. Look at this. Beautiful. There's the stairway. Fifth reason why you should visit La Jolla right now, this is uh, Elon Browning park which is mainly where I walked along the coast and we're gonna head up the stairway up this way and check out uh, Prospect Street which is the main street in uh, La Jolla so let's go and check out number five so this is the fifth reason why I like to come around here in La Jolla is to stop at one of these little cool places here off of uh, Prospect and um, go inside this is the Dos Vita and uh, we'll see what's inside. I haven't been in here but it's always nice to see what's going on. So I just picked up a uh, nice hot coffee from this place called the Sub Terrain Coffee and it's really nice. I mean really nice folks in there. So this is my number five reason why just come up here to Prospect and uh, find yourself something to enjoy. There's so many places. Now, granted, it can actually cost you zero to do what I just did. But um, I did go to the cave and I bought a coffee. So coffee was four bucks and the cave was $10. So it cost me $14 for today, but in reality, it probably wouldn't cost me anything. But I like to stop and kind of enjoy a brew. I mean, I probably could have brought my own myself, but I didn't. But uh, Prospect is pretty big. There's a lot of stuff around here. Um, you just gotta make your choice. You know, if you like this content, you know, please consider subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, hit the thumbs up. You know, I just got back from about four months over in uh, Southeast Asia, and now I'm back here at home in San Diego. And this is one of my first videos since I've been back. So I started to take it here to uh, La Jolla, which is uh, one of the prettiest places here in San Diego. And those reasons, what I just mentioned, are very easy. You just park and you can walk to all of them. You don't have to drive anywhere. You just get yourself here to La Jolla and uh, it's very easy to get to. Very easy walk and it's good for your health and knock it off. So go over the five reasons why you should visit La Jolla. And I'll cover them here really quick to uh, close out this video. And uh, number one is take the uh, coast trail. The coast trail is very beautiful. It's a good walk, great for your health, and uh, the views are absolutely spectacular. And then the second stop I did, and you don't really have to go there, but I went to the cave, all right, Sunny Jin's Cave. It costs $10 to go down. Best time to go there is during the week. Weekends, it's really crowded. I just missed a tourist bus going in there, so I was really lucky. So that's number two. Or you go to uh, Goldfish Point, which is just off to the right of it. And that won't cost you anything. And you can still see the cave. Um, number three is La Jolla Cove. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the sea lions. And it's really neat to see. 
and you got that nice little coastline that kind of goes around which actually leads up to the number four which is uh, Shell Beach which is a very pretty beach on the southern end of the cove nice to get to all very easily walkable and of course number five come up the stairway up to uh, Prospect Street and then this is just a part of Prospect I mean it's a little bit much more involved than where I'm at now but you know find a place to eat grab a brew a drink and uh, relax and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in future videos I'll be here in San Diego for a little bit until I head back over to uh, Southeast Asia so see ya from beautiful San Diego